Welcome back to Morning Live. Time for us to take a final look at your sports for today. Now, today is the winner-takes-all promotion and relegation playoff encounter between the University of Pretoria as well as Swallows FC. And to help us understand the enormity of this encounter, we've roped in SABC News, a senior sport reporter, Lebo Hang Dube. Good morning, Lebo. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Sports on Morning Live. Um, thank you, V, and morning to the viewers. Okay, so let's start with the squads as well as the temperament going into this encounter. Which team has the best team on paper to be able to deal with a game of this magnitude and importance? Because when we look at today's scenario, Swallows need a victory to stay in the PSL and for tax, a draw will do the job. The, to be honest, it's uh, quite difficult to, to say which team has... Uh, the better players on, on, on paper. When you look at the performance of uh, the University of Pretoria um, in the playoffs, I mean, I think they've been the better of the three sides um, in the playoffs in this campaign. And when you look at uh, Swallows, um, it's been quite disappointing that they've been inconsistent. Uh, but when you look also at how they've uh, played uh, in the campaign in the DSTV uh, Premiership, I mean, it was a disappointing campaign for them. But when you look at the players they have on paper, uh, Swallows, you could argue that they've got players that have perhaps the better experience, looking that uh, most of the players um, have played at least uh, two seasons now um, at Swallows in the, in the DSTV Premiership. And when you look at the University of Pretoria, it's players that will be looking to, you know, then gain promotion and get that exposure. Um, you look at uh, the likes of uh, um, Tabang Sibanyoni being very influential uh, in the playoffs in terms of the rest of Pretoria scoring those two goals. Unfortunately, he won't be around um, or play this particular match due to suspension, but they also have someone um, who has been influential in that campaign uh, in the NFD, uh, Lufuyo Pewa, who has scored a couple of goals for the team. And, and those are the type of players that you'd want going into this match. But you also look at how uh, Swallows have played, the, the, you know, uh, Grant Mashaman in the last match, quite influential, scoring the goal. And perhaps uh, his experience as well, they would need it. You look at uh, up front as well, um, they've got uh, the, the, the likes of uh, Moab Musonda who could come in, bring that experience. He's played in the playoffs before. So, so they, there's, there's those uh, players that, that could play a key role in, in today's match. Um, and, and, and I think um, both teams uh, should, should produce a, a quite high-intensity uh, game this afternoon. And I mean, we saw in that first game that they made in these playoffs, it was uh, a stalemate and, and, and really none of the teams showing that they wanted more than the other. And that's what these playoffs come down to, especially today. It's about which team wanted more. But they playing, the stakes here are monumental. If you look at a Swallows that could move from having approximately 2 million rand monthly grant, if they drop into the Glad Africa Championship, they'll be getting a fraction of that. So that on its own should be enough money motivation I, I should agree uh, that should be enough motivation I don't think any team um, would want to uh, play in the NFD um, I mean it's more lucrative to play in the PSL yes you might argue that it might be a bit more expensive uh, in terms of the salary um, the salary bill but uh, it's more lucrative for the teams it's better exposure for the players um, you know and that status it's, it's quite important for for a lot of um, uh, the 32 teams um, in the in the NSL, um, and if you look at uh, again going back to the game that they played, the first leg between the two teams, uh, it was a stalemate as you mentioned. Um, but it was quite interesting and quite exciting uh, because the match was played at high intensity. Uh, Swallows had the better uh, ball possession; they had better scoring opportunities. I think that twelve in total shots at goal and two uh, on ta on target. Whereas um, uh, Tax had about ten shots at goal and I think one on target. Uh, you look at um, how the, the Swallows team were accurate in terms of uh, that defensive approach, in terms of the passing rate as well. So it, it was quite exciting that match, despite uh, ending in a stalemate. And when you look at today, I think, as, as you mentioned, rightfully so as well, that it will go down to who wants it more. Um, yes, Tugs have the advantage of a point. Uh, Swallows know that they can't, um, they can't drop any points. They need to those three points, quite important for them to, to retain the status. But as well, what will be interesting today is that when you look at the past three playoffs, um, premiership teams mm. have always um, been able to retain their status. Whether that will be the case uh, this afternoon, um, it will be yet to be seen. But when you look at uh, tax, I, I think they, they stand a better chance 
of, of making or of getting that uh, uh, TSTV Premiership status. Um, they've been consistent. They've played um, with high intensity. They're quick on the ball. And I don't think it, they'll, it, will, it will make sense for them to be defensive uh, this afternoon. So I think the approach will be the same, consistent in terms of selection. So it will be for Swallows to really, for the players and for the technical team to really step up against the investor Pretoria. Now, there are things that Coach Dylan Kerr has raised as a concern for him coming into these playoffs. One of that being that the team has a lot of players that are on loan, so they aren't as invested, in, um, for lack of a better word, in the team remaining in the PSL because then they go back to their normal teams. And secondly, just how they fail to manage a game, the Swallows team. We've seen them coming and, and scoring early and then losing the game towards the end. Well, you could argue that, uh, you know, they've got a few players that are on loan, um, but it's not the majority of the squad. Um, and when you look at those players, um, some of them have not been part of, of, of the playoffs. Yes, perhaps uh, back of the mind is that, or of their minds that um, should, you know, Swallows lose the status, they return back to their clubs. But again, the argument is whether the clubs will utilize them, you know. Um, so it's a situation where they'll either be loaned out again to if, 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 if they're fortunate enough to a uh, team in the PSL. But if not, they would have to go down and play in the NFT. I mean, uh, it, it, it's quite a gamble if, if that would be the attitude of the players that, look, um, you know, they really have got nothing to lose. I mean, speaking specifically about those players that are on loan. Uh, so, so that argument uh, by the coach or his, his opinion, um, I, I really wouldn't want to to entertain that much. I mean, the players, I think, um, all of the players would want to make it uh, to ensure that they retain the the, the TSTV status, um, TSTV premiership status. Uh, I think they, 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 some of them know that uh, playing, they've played in the, in the NFT and they know how difficult it is um, when you look at the, the, the squad uh, complement of, of Swallows. So I don't, I don't think uh, the players would go there uh, without, um, you know, giving the 100%. It's just, it's just unfortunate that, uh, you know, it's been a, a complete bad uh, campaign for for for, Swal for Swallows overall. Um, you know, they they had um, their previous coach, then they employed Dylan Kerr to try and 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 and, and survive uh, relegation. But unfortunately, it has not really worked out. And then, um, you know, even when you look at at how they have played in the playoffs, I mean, it's 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 it, it, Basically, uh, it's similar Clever, to how they played. So, so I'm going to have to cut you there. We have unfortunately run out of time. But thank you so much for your time this morning. And of course, we do lock off, uh, look forward to rather that playoff game at 3 p.m. today. Swallows FC versus Tax. Which one of the teams will be playing in the DSTV Premiership next season? We do now take you though through to an ad break. Do stay tuned. SK and Leanne will be back with you shortly. Have a blessed day.